Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and today we're cooking picanha on the Yoder Smokers Flat Top Charcoal Grill. This cut of meat is what the Brazilians call picanha. Now here in the United States, we often call it a sirloin cap, a rump cap, or as Creekstone Farms calls this one, the culotte. Now this is a prime cut from Creekstone Farms, so I know it's gonna be a fantastic piece of beef. And the simple preparation of this recipe allows the beef flavor to really shine. Now the first thing we're gonna do today is get this thing trimmed up just a little bit. You'll see it has a nice thick fat cap on the top, and we're gonna leave a lot of that, especially because that's the way that Brazilian picanha has been taught to me. But there is a bunch of excess stuff here on the bottom that we can get rid of. And once we get through some of this stringy stuff, you'll see we've got some silver skin right here that we can take off of there. Now I want a good half inch or so of fat on top, so I'm just gonna take this down a little bit, but we're gonna leave most of that. So not much to do there. You've got that nice fat cap on top that we're gonna leave in place, and we've done that little bit of cleaning to get rid of the silver skin, so we're not chewing on that later. So now you've got some options. I've cooked these whole and they came out really nice, but I also like to put them onto skewers. We'll cut them into some big strips, curl them up on some skewers, and then when we get it over the flame, we get this beautiful crust on the outside from all that fat dripping down, the flame coming up, and the finished product has got this great texture on the outside and it's super tender in the middle. Now this part's crucial. What you wanna do is find the direction that the grain is running and then we're going to actually slice in the opposite direction, so across these. So when we curl these strips up and stick our skewer right through there, all of the grains are running this way, so when we slice, we slice at a 90 degree angle against the grain for really tender, short pieces of meat. And we're gonna go about three fingers thick on this, so two and a half or so inches. And that'll get you three pieces out of here. I'm gonna do the same thing here on this second picanha. And look at the beautiful marbling in that piece of meat. Now you're gonna need a really good sized skewer. We're gonna come in from the fat side, go through right to the center there, all the way back through to the other fat side. And we should be able to get about two or three of these on each one of these big skewers. Now the other great thing about these large skewers is that they're flat as well, so the meat's not gonna turn on you as you flip it on the grill. A larger skewer like this can be hard to come by, but uh, this is a Stephen Reichland product that we carry here at All Things Barbecue. You can check it out, atbbq.com, pick them up. We've got them every day, stocked up on them for you guys. And we've cut these to an even thickness, but it's a good idea to keep in mind that you wanna keep like-sized pieces together so that they cook as evenly as possible. If you do have some smaller pieces from the ends there, Make sure they're toward the end of your skewer so you can always slide them off if they're finished before the rest. Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers Flat Top Adjustable Charcoal Grill. Now this is a grill that I love to cook on and we've been hearing a lot of people are asking for more content. They want to see what these grills are all about and this recipe is really perfect for this grill. All right, we're going to start this off with a couple chimneys of charcoal. Now for the seasoning for our picanha, it doesn't get any easier than this. We're using a coarse rock salt and that's it. Nothing else, just the salt. So we'll start off with some of these salt chunks, break them down, the mortar and pestle. But you do want a pretty coarse consistency, so I'm really not gonna go much further than that. It's 
just gonna hit this with a little spray duck fat to give us a binder, help that salt hold on to the meat. And then we're gonna go liberal with the rock salt right there on the surface. Gonna press it in, move it around. With this excellent cut of prime beef from Creekstone and the superior salt, the beef is really gonna be the star of the show. This will be one of the beefier recipes we've done in quite some time. So we're gonna create a nice hot zone right here for direct grilling. And of course with this large grill, we've got plenty of room to move indirect if we need to move those off to the side before they're finished cooking. I'm just gonna close this grill up and give the chamber a few minutes to warm up. We'll open up the airflow on the top. We also have airflow down below. I'm gonna make sure that's all the way open. We've got the cooking chamber nice and hot now, so we're gonna throw our picanha on the grill. Should get that immediate sizzle. We've got plenty of that going on. And then as this fat starts to drip off and render, we're gonna get some, some flare ups that are really gonna put some nice color on the outside. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna close this up to keep that heat in there. But one of the great things about this Yoder flat top is you can actually adjust the height of those coals. So if it's getting a little too intense, you can drop that down. So once you've got some good color on here, roll this over, look at that, just beautiful crust on there. So here we've got some really beautiful color on this, but this is totally raw in the center, so we're gonna move it to the indirect side of the grill now. So look at that beautiful color. You really control those flare-ups by moving the charcoal down, and then you get just the right color that you're looking for. So we'll finish here on the indirect side of the grill, and while we're doing that, I'm gonna to put together a little bit of a butter sauce to dip our steak in. To warm that skillet up, I'm just gonna move this back up a little bit higher. We're gonna start off with some softened, unsalted butter. I'm gonna throw in three cloves of garlic that I've just crushed. A couple sprigs of fresh oregano. I'm gonna add a little bit of heat with some Flay Volcano, so smoky red chili sauce. Just do a squeeze of lemon juice, about a tablespoon, and we'll give it a shake of some smoked salt. All right, so just give this a little stir. We're gonna close the lid up, let these flavors really open up in the butter, and let the beef come up to temperature. We're gonna finish with a medium rare. So after about 10 minutes indirect, this is sitting right at 125 which is exactly where we want it. Let's pull these off. So we've got this simple, just flavored butter. Everything's melded together now flavor-wise. Transfer this to a little cup for dipping. Picanha looks, it smells fantastic. These aren't large pieces of meat, so we'll give them, oh, maybe about five minutes to rest. Well, the steak's rested. It's time to slice into it and see how we did. I mentioned presentation earlier, and this is exactly what I was talking about. This is such a fun way to be able to share some food with your friends and family, just carving it right off of that skewer. And look at that beautiful pink center. Super juicy in there. That is perfect picanha. And this is great for a crowd also because you get that centerpiece that's almost rare, but the outside nearly well done. So you've got that nice char, tons of flavor out there, but it's still super tender. It's incredible how big the flavor is. 
when all we did was put salt on the outside. I mean, this is a really beautiful beef dish and you're tasting all of the beefiness. I gotta find out though about this butter. Mm. It's a great accompaniment. You certainly don't need it, but I love the little bit of heat. The garlic pop is really nice. And you get that fat with the fat of the picanha, although the saltiness cuts through all of it. It's really well balanced. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our website because everything from the grill to the knives, even down to the salt, is available at atbbq.com. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.